Okay. So let's have a go then. Let's see what we've got. Welcome back, everyone. Are you ready? <laughs> Brilliant. We are, guys. Let's get ready to go. What sounds can these graphemes make? Okay. So have a look at these. Pause the video if you need a little bit of thinking time. Um, and what sounds do these can these make? Okay, you were correct if you said E, but the I and the E, we've learnt that it can sound like an I, it can sound like I, I, or like in pie, or it can sound like E, like in thief. Okay, this one, the E and the A, it can sound like E, but it can also sound like E, like in head. Okay, and the last one, well, we've learnt this one, this one can be A, or it can be uh. So let's have a look at some words with these in. You do remember, well done. Let's see if you can work out which sound the I, E and er uh makes in these words. Okay guys, let's have a look then. Oh, quick, stand up everyone, there's a star. S, uh, mm, some. Oh, brilliant. Well done everyone. Let's look at the next one. Can you see that one? Brilliant. Relief. Relief. Well, come on, we kind of say relief, don't we? Relief. Yeah, so the F probably says I in that one. Relief. Right, let's look at the next one. Oh, stand up, everyone, quick. Brilliant. Castle. Castle. Let's look at the next one. Oh, stand up again, everyone. Brilliant. E. Thief, you're so good at this. Let's get the next one. Oh, can you tell me that one? Yeah, it's uh, her. Oh, stand up again, everyone. Have a go at that one. Okay, did you remember with this one, we don't say the E. Eh. So it sounds like this. L -i -s -n. Listen. Have a go at that one. Brilliant, it's j uh, mm, germ. Have a go at that one. H -e -d, head. Have a go at this one. Oh, we've got to stand up. W -u -r -e, worry. Have a go at this one. Brilliant. D -e -d, dead. This week we are going to look at some words which have the double E and the E-A-R sounds, but are spelt differently. Okay, so they sound like E, or they sound like er, but they're spelt differently. Let's have a look. Okay, so this time we're going to have a look at the Y by itself. And all, in all of these words, it sounds like an E. And then we're going to look at an E double E and an R, so double E means you've got two of them, E, E, R, or E, R, E. So can you see, it's the same letters, but just in a different order. And those all sound like E, R. Right, oh, can you see one of the sounds in this word? That's right, did you spot E, R? It's the E, the E, and the R. Well done if you saw that one. And the whole word is ch, ear, cheer. Way, that's cheering. Right, let's have a go at this one. Can you see one of the sounds in this word? Brilliant, if you spotted the ear sound again. And this time the spelling is E, R, E. Well done if you spotted it. Ooh. Can you spot one of our sounds in this word? That's right, it's the E. It's the Y at the end. And this word is T I D E. Tidy. Well done. Now let's look for our new graphemes in these words and sort them into the correct group. Right, let's have a look. Okay. Can you see the word just over here? Let's you have a go at sounding that word out. And then can you decide whether it goes in the E in the E box, 
Does it go in the ear, E-R-E -E box? Or does it go in the ear, E-E-R box? You've got to decide which one it goes into. Okay, have a go at that one now. Brilliant. D ear, deer, that's an animal that lives in a woodland. So did you spot which one it goes to? Oops. That's right. It goes to the E, the E and the R. Okay, let's look at the next one. Have a go at sounding that one out. T I N E. Tiny. Now, does that one go in E E R? E R E? Or do we need to put it in the Y at the end where it sounds like E? Well done if you said it goes with the Y because it says time E and the Y says sounds like an E. Okay, have a go at this one. Brilliant, this one says M, Ia, Mia. And did you spot which one it goes into? That's right, it's the E, the R and the E. Mia means there's not very much of something. Well done, now go to your tables and sort the words into the correct category. Well, you won't be sorting them. What you've got for today is a piece of paper and it's got pictures on and you've got to match the words to the pictures, okay? Um, the uh, worksheet is attached to the website. Pause the video now and have a go at that. Brilliant, you should have had a go at that. Let's see what Cathy says. What fabulous reading you just did. Let's check the words with the new sounds and see what they mean. Okay, so did you match deer to the picture of a deer? Cheer to the children cheering. Steer to the lady in the car steering her car and uh, moving it in, the, in whichever direction she wants it to go. And peer, people who are your friends. Then we've got here and you say where you are. Mia, we said that one doesn't mean, very, that means not very much. Adhere means that so when you stick two things together, they stick together, they adhere. And then finally, you've got sphere. And we've you looked at that one in uh, year one. Then over here in the E category group, we've got tiny. Look at a little tiny person. We've got tidy, the little boy's tidying his room. Easy, and we've got some uh, number sentences on the board which are not hard, they're simple. And then only is just the ones that are left. It's only four left. So well done if you did that, fantastic work. You did well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow everyone.